The brain is a noisy place. Neurons chatter constantly, sending messages that underlie our thoughts, feelings, emotions, and just about everything we do. Now, a new view of the synapse, the place where two nerve cells, or neurons, meet, offers a detailed look at how neurons send messages. Using a variety of techniques, scientists reconstructed a rat synaptic bouton, the message-sending tip of a neuron. The scientists made each protein in their reconstruction a different color, so they could see where the proteins are in the bouton and how they interact. Despite what it looks like, these proteins only fill about 7% of the space inside a bouton. Still, it can get quite crowded, which makes it hard for the small spheres, called vesicles, to move around. Vesicles are the fairies that shuttle proteins and chemical messages to the edge of the bouton and release them into the synapse. A single vesicle is about 42 nanometers in diameter. The tiny sphere is loaded with proteins on its outer shell, and the chemical messages are packed inside. The mission of the vesicle is to move these messages to the bouton's active zone. The active zone, shown in glowing red, houses specialized proteins to help vesicles release their payloads, which are responsible for cell-to-cell -cell communication. Once the vesicles make it to the active zone, they meld with the cell membrane and release their messages into the synapse. Of course, this is only the tip of a neuron. The team is planning to recreate an entire neuron to understand in extreme detail the potentially billions of transactions neurons make every second and how those communications make the brain work.